Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the new Krieger R25 backpack. The Krieger R25 has been around for more than 20 years, but not like this. This is the 2024 revamp of a motorcycling classic. There are several changes to this bag, but the key one is that the R25 is now mainly waterproof. Krieger have used the roll top concept that you'll find on plenty of their other bags, which stops water getting into the main compartment. That main compartment gives 20 litres of space protected by a waterproof liner that's attached with Velcro strips inside the top of the bag. If you roll over the top, use the three buckles to clip it shut, then no water can get in through the top, so that gives you 20 litres of dry space for your stuff. This is a significant departure from the old R25, which was all about convenience rather than the practicality of the waterproof liner in this new version. It is fiddlier to use this rather than the simpler zip entry on the old R25, but it doesn't add too much hassle. I find it best to have the front of the bag facing me when I fasten the roll over top, otherwise the carrying handle on top can get in the way a little bit. The total capacity of the R25, as the name suggests, is 25 litres. The other five litres are in a zipped pocket on the back of the bag. It's got a long zip and it is pretty easy to get inside there as long as you don't have the compression straps on the side of the bag pulled too tight. There's a stash pocket within the pocket to help you find smaller bits and bobs and there's also a loop to keep your house keys secure. Just remember this part of the bag isn't waterproof so be careful what you keep in there if there's a threat of rain. If you're not loading the R25 to full capacity then those compression straps let you pull the bag in to keep everything inside more secure. I think the number one strength overall of Krieger's bags is the quad lock harness and that remains untouched from the old R25. If you've not got any experience of Krieger bags, the idea of quad lock is that it uses your chest to support the weight of the bag, saving your shoulders and back from strain. There's plenty of room to put your arms through the space on each strap and then you click two buckles across the chest to secure the harness. If there's too much room around your chest or if there's too little, you can use the alloy buckles on the sides of those straps to tighten or slacken the fit. You can also choose how high or how low you want the bag to sit on your back by making the straps shorter or longer. To make the straps longer, you pull some of the excess harness out from the body of the bag and then adjust the straps so they match the length. To make them shorter, you feed some of the harness back into the bag body and you adjust the straps again to match the length. The shorter the straps, the higher the bag sits on your back and the longer the straps, the lower it sits on your back. To stop the bag getting wonky when you adjust the height, you use the dots on the straps. If you've got one dot inside these sliders, then the straps are at their shortest, and three dots in the sliders mean they're at the longest. If you keep both sides on the same number of dots, then you should have the bag sat nice and square on your back. The R25 uses the full quad lock harness with two clips across the chest. Some other Krieger bags have a quad lock light harness, which only has one buckle, and then they've also got a waist belt for added support. This double clip method is more secure and I prefer it to the quad lock light harness. The padded section on the front of the R25 is covered in a different fabric that's smoother than the material you got on the original R25. I didn't notice any difference in that while riding but I think it will be more comfortable when you use this as a regular rucksack when you're not wearing your bike kit. Now another appeal of Krieger bags in general is the range of add-ons that are available. If you want water on the go you can put a bladder between the waterproof part of the bag and the outer and then a drinking tube feeds through a space near the top of the straps. There are also add-ons like Krieger pouches and carriers that clip to the harness to give you storage for small bits and pieces. So there's what the R25 is and what it does. Having used this bag for a few hundred miles on the road, my view is that it's just like the old R25, but now you know the stuff inside is gonna stay dry. It does take a bit more time to open and shut the bag, so there is a price to pay there in terms of convenience. The other price to pay is the inevitable cost increase that comes with Krieger upgrading the bag. At the end of its run, the old R25 is £169. This new version has a list price of 219 as we record this, and it's now the same money as the larger Krieger R30. It'll be interesting to see where this new bag finds its place within the Krieger range, as the R22 is £40 cheaper as we record this. That bag is smaller and it's got the single clasp quad lock light harness rather than the more secure full quad lock on this bag, but £40 is a fair saving to make. Probably the real competition within Krieger's range comes from the R30, which has the same quad lock harness and costs the same money now, but is a bigger bag. Now, not everyone will want a bigger bag, and for those people, this new R25 is a good alternative to the R30. Krieger say riders with shorter backs will benefit from the R25 over the R30 as it's shorter and it'll be less likely to interfere with the base of their lid. It's the same for sports bike riders, they say, in the more crouched riding position, and R25 is less likely to nudge against the base of the helmet. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how riders feel when it comes to deciding which of Krieger's bags to buy.
I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Krieger R25 backpack, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.